Hello, Ben Mankiewicz here. Welcome to TCM as 31 Days of Oscar rolls on. Tonight, our focus has been on films that won the Academy Award for Best Original Story. Up next, Jimmy Stewart stars in the true story of one of baseball's most inspirational players. The story is true. The movie is mostly true. From MGM in 1949, The Stratton Story. Stewart plays the title character, pitcher Monty Stratton, a lanky kid from Texas who worked his way up to the big leagues with the Chicago White Sox, eventually making the 1937 American League All-Star team just his fourth season in the majors. Then, just as Stratton's career was beginning to take off, an accident. While hunting on his farm in the offseason in 1938, Stratton accidentally shot himself in the leg. His injury was serious. After considering both Van Johnson and Gregory Peck for the title role, MGM settled on Jimmy Stewart, who was Monty Stratton's first choice. Stewart went to great lengths to prepare for the part. In addition to spending months with Stratton, who served as a technical advisor on the film, Stewart trained five hours a day with several big leaguers to make himself look plausible as a big league pitcher and hitter, by the way. For a pitcher, Monty Stratton was an exceptional hitter, batting 224 with four home runs and 10 doubles in just 192 career at-bats. Stewart took his research further, working with physical therapists and orthopedists. Then when the cameras rolled, Stewart wore a steel harness to force a limp. Stratton's story was the first of two films that starred Jimmy Stewart as a ball player. Six years later, he starred in the 1955 war drama Strategic Air Command, playing an ex-pilot turned major league third baseman. In both movies, June Allison co-starred as his wife. They made three pictures together, helping to make them one of the era's most popular screen couples. The rest of the cast here includes Frank Morgan, Agnes Moorhead, and cameos by a few real-life baseball players and coaches, including Hall of Famer Bill Dickey and Jimmy Dykes, a solid ball player who became Stratton's manager with the White Sox. Here's the film from 1949, The Stratton Story. Stratton's story did well at the box office, becoming the sixth biggest draw of 1949, according to the Ultimate Movie Rankings website. Screenwriter Douglas Morrow won an Oscar for developing the story, though the story was pretty much true. Of course, the events in Monty Stratton's life were embellished a bit for the screen, but Stratton himself said they made the movie about as true to life as they could. Stratton, who served as a technical advisor on the film, was thrilled with Jimmy Stewart's portrayal. When I saw Jimmy on the screen, I wept. He was more me than I am, Stratton exclaimed. When approached by MGM to tell his story, Stratton initially declined, but he reconsidered when the studio explained how the film would serve as an inspiration for disabled war veterans from World War II. Then it ended up being one of the screen's most compelling sports biographies. Coming up, 31 Days of Oscar continues with a British war drama from Columbia starring Leslie Howard, Laurence Olivier, and Raymond Massey from the filmmaking team of Michael Powell and Emmerich Pressburger in 1941. 49th Parallel is next on Turner Classic Movies. Next on TCM, 49th Parallel, then Test Pilot, and later, Crazy Legs. TCM takes it to the house tonight.